It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, AM 1160 and 101.1 FM 944, our Teddy Bear Fun Drive News Time. Mark Richards from the Indiana Regional Medical Center is on the telephone with us this morning. This is the first day of the work stoppage by the members of the IRNA PSEA. And the negotiation schedule has been well publicized. So have the issues involved. But I wanted to talk with Mr. Richards this morning about hospital operations uh, as they are today and as he sees them going forward. Let's say good morning. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Todd. How are you today? Wonderful, wonderful. It's good to have you with us here today. I know it's a, an awfully busy day there for you. Uh, but let's, let's talk about what's going on at the hospital today and how you anticipate it unfolding through the week. Uh, you put out the news release earlier this morning uh, that uh, things should be operating as normal at IRMC today. That's correct, Todd. Uh, you know, one of the biggest things throughout this was that, you know, we had a, we had a commitment to, to continue to fulfill our mission, and, and that's to take care of the folks in this, in this community. So um, there's no such thing as a one-day strike for a hospital. Uh, so we will be staffed throughout the week uh, and, and open for business every day. For folks who don't understand why that is, uh, there, when you do hire a staffing firm such as the one that you did, uh, there is a, a minimum number of days that you have to commit to, correct? That's correct. It's a five-day minimum. So, I mean, it's not we can't just do a one-day kind of thing. Um, it's a five-day minimum, and, and we have to, you know, honor the contract with the, with the, excuse me, the um, temporary replacement agency. And, and, you know, that's what we'll do. Now, some nurses, you know, may get called back if there's work available. Nurses are were also encouraged or are welcomed to uh, to cross uh, and work for the entire week, and uh, we'll see how that plays out as well. All right. Uh, in terms of the way that uh, the hospital is operating this week, uh, folks are wondering, okay, I have an appointment or I have a test that has to be done. Um, what do they need to know about the way that they uh, approach uh, going to the hospital or to any of the facilities this week? Um, actually, I mean, nothing. Uh, the, uh, the entrances are both open. Um, all of the outpatient facilities are open. Uh, I think we're encouraging folks to, to use the front door, uh, you know, through the main lobby. But other than that, um, again, Todd, it, it is business as usual here at IRMC. Okay, well, that's that's good news for folks who are wondering about their appointments and, and things of that nature. Uh, and also Just for to be clear too, Todd. Every, I mean, everything is safe, secured. I mean, there's extra security, so you know I don't want anyone to have any misgivings about about coming on out here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let's also talk uh, this today about you know another thing that folks might not know about, and you're not in the room for the negotiations, uh, so. Um, but how do those negotiations take place? Um, we're assuming that the, the typical setup, uh, a negotiating team from IRMC, a negotiating team from the union, uh, getting together across the table from each other, and, and that's how the bargaining takes place. Is that the case for this particular yeah. issue? Yep, that's, that's exactly it. Uh, a handful, a uh, half dozen or eight or so folks from each side, Including labor attorneys and represent you know representation for each side and and that's pretty much it. We sit down and try and hammer out an agreement. All right. Well, we've heard about uh, all of the issues. So the um, IRMC making its statement, uh, the nurses making theirs. I don't know if you have anything to add from the hospital standpoint uh, or from what you've heard from the negotiators. No, I, I don't have any update. I mean, we we had made an amended offer last Wednesday in, in a hope. Um, to avoid this, um, it, it didn't work. So we, we have two more sessions scheduled this week, and you know, listen, we'll, we'll keep working to, to try and get a deal that you know is fair for everyone. And should there be no movement, and uh, we get to the end of this week, um, tell me about the the chain that happens uh, of of activities. Uh, they notify you that they're coming back on a certain day, and therefore you. Uh, can dismiss the the staffing firm. Do you have to have that information by a certain day in order to not have this go forward into the next week? Yeah, I, I think that that's all been communicated through the labor attorneys. So um, I, I don't think there's going to be any issues there. All right, very good. He's Mark Richards from the Indiana Regional Medical Center. Thanks for spending some time with us this morning, clearing up some issues involved with this work stoppage today. Always good to talk to you, Todd. All right, Mark. Bye now. Thanks. There he is. He's Mark Richards from the Indiana Regional Medical Center. So the work-